guys, so welcome back to the Eastbourne Fishermen. Today we have come down to a local Eastbourne beach and we're going crabbing. I brought Alfie and Harry with me, my two lads, uh, and we're just going to go and have a look and find some crabs, aren't we? What do you reckon? Good. What do you reckon? Good. Right, let's get down on the beach. Right, so I'm here with Tom. We've met up with Tom down the beach. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look for crabs. The kids are all in front. They've all run off and left us. So, you know, we're the two stooges at the back. But, yeah, we're going down... Uh, Hollywell and Eastbourne, uh, absolutely great place. Uh, bring the kids and have just a you know a crab session around. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a fur call and see if we can try and find some crabs. Right, so he's gonna lift up this uh, big rock here. Looks a bit big. Nothing under there. No? Right on to the next one. Then we put the rock back. Try not to disturb the, the habitat too much. All right, boys. Right, so we found our first crab, looks like a nice little shore crab. Ooh. One right there. Looks like it's a female, it's just got the wider carapace at the bottom. Males have a small, thin one. Yeah, it looks like a nice crab. Hold back. Yeah. What do you do? Do you want to put it back? Just put it back under his rock. I'm just going to have a look under this rock here. Oh, there's one. Nice one there, one sec, mate. Oh, the fast one, one sec. Oh, so there's one crab. That's a pregnant crab. See here at the bottom, guys, look. See this big, this big egg sack at the bottom here, see? This big egg sack at the bottom here is where all the, uh, all the little crabs live. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that one back, okay? You say bye? Bye. Bye bye. Just put it back. Bye. Leave them under there. Yeah, say bye. Just found another one. It's another nice big one, Tom. Well done, mate. Oh, that's a male. That's a male, male shore crab. As you can tell by the uh, by the thin, thin bit in the middle. So yeah, it's a nice, another nice big one. It's a big one today, isn't it? Not bad. Lovely. Let's get him in the box. We'll have a count up at the end of the day. That's two so far. Harry, how are you doing? You found any yet? No, not yet. Al, how are you doing, mate? Suspicious rock. Sounds good. Right, you pull it over then you have a look, see if there's anything underneath it. Another good place to look is all underneath these ledges here. Uh, crabs like to hide under the ledges, I found, when I've been looking around myself. So we're just going to have a look under here. Let's see what we can find. Anything? Windy today, I think it's pretty windy. I'm just gonna have a look. No, there's nothing under there, so yeah. So I tried the bigger rocks as well. Sometimes you find crabs under the bigger rocks, so this is quite a big one, so we're gonna have to give, give it a big big lift. No, can't see nothing under that one. Put it back. Just having a look up and down. Let's just see if we can find anything in there. In the rock pools, just take it up nice and slowly. See if there's anything underneath. Nope. Uh, again, remembering just to pick up the rubbish that you find on the beach. Uh, pop it in your backpack, a little bit of rope there. Put it in your backpack and just dispose of it in, in the bin. Which you just you know, try and keep the beach nice and clean for the marine life that live here. Right, so I've just found a, a couple of baby porcelain crabs, I believe they are, uh, with the bigger front claws. Pretty cool, they're really small. Really, really small. I don't know if you can, pick, I don't know if you can see them on the camera there. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's a couple of other ones under the rock as well. So yeah, that's a pretty good find, little porcelain crabs. Do you want to hold the crab, Fred? Yeah. One time, crab, crab. Right, so, you know, it's going to give Fred the crab, just so you can see. Uh, 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 oh, you're right, there's two there. Put them flat, put them flat. In fact, see that, the Freddy, you've got two porcelain crabs, small ones, well done mate. Right guys, so I just peeled up this rook here, and this little fella darted out right in front of me. Uh, it's a nice little blenny. It's quite a big one actually, it's bigger, bigger than the ones we usually find around this area. So yeah, oh, there he is, he's jumping back out, let's put him back in. Oh. See, there he is, see? Fred, do you want to hold him? Hold him. So put your hands out then, yeah, put your hands out so you can pick him up. Oh, well, he's a bit jumpy, so you just be careful with him. Whoa! He's going <laughs> Put your hands flat, put your hands flat, be careful. 
There he is, see? Oh, uh, yeah, Penny. There he is, he's just going to put him back and he's off on his way. Right, so Harris has got a crab under a rock. Well done, mate, give me a thumbs up. Rock and roll, son, rock and roll. He won't bite you, mate. Right, so just meandering through this. Bits and pieces, right, mate? All the kids are up there. What's it's all about. It's really windy, though. Really, really windy. I think it gusts around about 28 miles an hour, isn't it, Pretty windy. But so far, we found some crabs. This is the area that we're at. Just having a look around. There's quite a lot of other families around as well, which is quite nice. I'm going to go a bit off road. Whoop. Just have a quick look around there. Hopefully, not get water in the wellies. Just have a look around, see what we can find. So there's another rock I like the look of. Just find the big rocks. They tend to produce more. Oh, look, there's one there. And there's another one there. See? Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? He's lost him. There's a little one there. Oh. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Where's that big one gone? Oh, there's a little one there. Oh, no, he's gone as well. He's gone. I'm getting really bad at this. I can't even catch the crabs now. Oh. There's one. There's one. Right. Oh, that's a big pregnant one. All right, so that's a crab, sure crab. Uh, uh, and that one looks like it's literally ready to go. That is really ready to go, as you can tell by the big egg sack there at the bottom. So we're going to put that one back. Nice one there. Tom, look at that. Look at the size of that one. Look. Ready to go, isn't she? Yeah. Let's put her back then under this rock over here. Under the rock over there. Nicely under. Just give her some protection by this rock. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that big one went, that's a bit annoying. Hopefully we'll find him later. Right, so this is a big rock. I'm going to try and lift this one up. And then Alf's going to go underneath and grab what's ever under there, right? This is a big... Oh, it's a bit big. Did you see anything underneath, Alf? No. Nah, it's a bit too big, that one. Right. Oh, wow. Wow, we found a mecca of crabs. Let's grab these guys quick. Whoa, there's two there. Two crabs, there's one, another one under that way, Tom. Push the rock back and then we'll have a look. You see it? Oh. Nice. Well, my hand's getting pinched. Ah, yeah, okay. Get the bucket. Oh. Oh. So he's got quite a few here. How many have you got? Oh, there's quite a lot there, look. Right there. So there's two crabs here, we've got. Two of the shore crabs there. Oh, it's going. Oh. It's going. It's quite a lot there, look. How many have we got, Tom? About six in one rock. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's a good rock that was. Not bad fine that one. Six six crabs under one. That was finally caught up. Hold it up half. Show us what you got. got. A nice crab. Which is missing a couple of legs, but a crab it is. Happy? Well done son. Right, so we found loads and loads of crabs, a couple of fish. It's been a good one so far. Um we're just gonna have a quick look around and see if there's anything else we can find. You have a good time, Fred? Have a good time boys? Yeah. Let's rock and roll! Just pulled this little brown crab, it's absolutely tiny, out of a little rock. Little brown crab there, do you want to hold him? Yeah. There you go mate, okay. happy days. Right, so we just put the net in the, uh, the rock pool, we found this little dude. I don't actually know what kind of a fish he is. Wash him off. There he is, he looks like a little little bait fish I think. One sec Fred. There you go, hold, wait there, hold him flat, hold him flat. It's like a small little bait fish, so I'm not sure what that is. So if anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments below. Cheers. Well, it's got another brown crab for Tom. That's a slightly bigger one. Look, at this. that's a pretty nice one actually. So they're getting slightly bigger. Finding the slightly bigger ones. Well done, lads. Right, so we've been out for about an hour and a half, and we managed to get quite a few crabs. Let's have a look. There's the bucket. All the crabs in there. Nice brown crab there. Look at the size of that brown crab. Oh, that's an absolutely brilliant brown crab. That is. That's great. So what we're gonna do is just gonna let the kids uh, pick up the crabs, and we'll have a look and see what we got. You all right? I can't see you, look. There you go. Woo! <laughs> right, guys, so these are the crabs I'm going to keep for bait. Obviously, the kids are going to put the other crabs back, but these are the ones I want to keep for bait. And they're mixtures of peeler and hardback. So they've got some nice ones in here, really good ones. So that's the box that we're going to be taking home. Uh, we're going to obviously, you know, uh, keep them fresh, and then we're going to try and get out again sometime next week um, and uh, give, them, give them a good go, see if we can try and catch something on them. They've got some nice ones here, look. Nice big ones here. A lot of different assortments. That's a massive one, absolutely big one that one. 
So that's, that's what we're going to keep for bait. Um, and like I say, we'll use them next week on the beach. <laughs>